All right, the third and final air circulator video. This is the Lasco Cyclone. Now, Lasco came out with these in probably 95, 94. This was basically their competitor to the wind machine. Well, not the wind machine, but the uh, liquid cool operator. This was their attempt to better compete with that. Um, and these were actually a pretty good attempt at it. Um, this one in particular has the newer, you know, split capacitor motor as compared to the ones that had the uh, Marco motors. But I took what I could get because uh, these are kind of hard to find, especially in good shape. I've had a, I had one of these with a Marco motor, but it was missing a bunch of parts. And I do have the blade off of it somewhere laying around here, but the motor was toast in it and the front grille was missing. So I think I just ended up parting it out and junking it. But I found this one at Goodwill last year and despite it having the cheaper motor, it's in pretty good shape. This is actually an early 2000s model because it predates the fuse plug that you see here. It's a Cyclone by Lasco. It does have the earlier pedal blade design. This one's actually a little bit better. It's actually molded out of better plastic and it's more solid. It doesn't flex as bad. Oddly enough, it looks like it would have the Marco motor by that ribbon cable, but it does not. Back of it. There was actually a model of this that had a thermostat, which is really rare. But the thermostat, I think this would have been longer. And there would have been a thermostat and a speed switch. This one just has the three speeds. And there's the back of the motor cover. If you can see it in there. It's a little, one of the little tuna can motors, I guess. Right there. The capacitor, as you can see. Not sure what year this one's from. There's no year on these. Um, unlike the Lakewood motors, they usually had a stamp on the capacitor that told you what year it was from. This does not have that, as I throw screws and crap everywhere. But yeah. Now, this model was a recalled model by Lasco at the time. Due to the fact that apparently these motors were not good and would catch fire. But uh, during my research on those back when I was in high school. Because I did a lot of research on fan stuff back then. And I did research on that. And it turned out a lot of the people that were claiming to have fires were using the fans under not good conditions basically they would use them in their horse barns they would get filthy clogged with dirt and would eventually overheat and cause a fire and would burn down their barn now no that's not a good thing not at all but the fans were kind of misused and so yeah the motors aren't as bad as everybody makes them out to be I've never had any issues with them, and I have quite a few of these with the, the style motor. But anyway, here's high. Well, this does move pretty good air. Just move all the crap around back there. Cyclone was definitely a better competitor than a cool operator. Moves a lot more air. Go to medium. Which even with the cheaper motor, it's moving quite a bit of air. 
I don't know why people complain about these so much. Now the overall build quality on the thing is nothing as good as the cool operator was. But it ain't bad, it's decent. Medium's pretty good on this. We go to low. And low's about comparable to the cool operator. The only difference with this and the cool operator was these never had the seven blades. These only had the five throughout their whole entire run. Low speed's pretty quiet on it. You can kind of hear the blades whizzing because they do that. Like most early pedal blade lasco stuff. It's kind of a nice sound. It's moving pretty good breeze. Go back to high. And off. So yeah, the Velasco Cyclone. Really not a bad fan. The earlier versions had the butter knife blades like the box fans did they came out with the pedal blade around i want to say 98 99 i know a lot of the earlier pedal blade box fans had the marco motor so did these but yeah the last go cyclone not a bad fan i quite like it it was something I really wanted to add in my collection at some point, and I was glad when I found this one. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.